Well, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. We are doing the April monthly forecast for 2022. This is our wealth expansion forecast with numerology and channeled messages. And I am Kristen Ballas. I am a quantum numerologist and wealth expansion coach, a certified brain game coach. And my passion is to help people live their best lives by understanding who they are, what they want, why they want it and how to create it. And I do that through lots of different methods. Numerology and channeling is one of my favorites. So I love doing these monthly forecasts for you and I'm happy to be here today to be able to share this information with you. This month is very, very noisy and we are going to want to know how to navigate it so that we can take advantage of all of the opportunities that are available to us this month. So welcome, welcome. Hello, Leah, Rosalie, Helen, good to see all of you. Yeah, so um, let's dive in because there is so much to share about this month and I'm not even gonna get through um, a lot of it because I don't wanna overload you guys too much. Um, but I will share quite a bit with you because it is a really busy month. There's a lot of noise going on. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of activity energetically, mentally, um, spiritually. There's a lot happening and um, a lot of movement with planets and aspecting with one another and all of that going on. There's, um, there's an eclipse at the end of the month. There's a very powerful full moon mid-month. There's a lot of stuff going on. And um, there's not going to be any rest for the weary, I'm sorry to say. I know that March was a very energetically challenging month for most of us. And um, you know, I definitely felt that right along with you guys. That last week and a half was particularly brutal for me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments how you experienced March. Um, but April is going to be different in flavor and yet still very transformative, still very focused on spiritual growth and expansion. And so how can we take advantage of that when there's going to be so much outside noise trying to distract us? And so that's going to be really the key. Hello, Anise. Welcome. Wonderful to see you. So, um, so that's what we're going to be looking at this month. And so, yeah, let me know. Hi, Leah told us she's in Australia, which I know, uh, but for everyone else. And let's, let us know where you're um, joining in from so that we can, you know, all say hello from all over the world. Hi, Hi, Danielle. It's good to see you. Brutal seems accurate. Yeah, I hate to use those words, but it really felt like that. It was it was really challenging, way more than I could have ever imagined. And so here we go. But um, this month is, like I said, it's going to have a different flavor, although it is going to also be quite intense. Um, so yeah, you're happy March is over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, hello, Lori. Welcome. All right. So let's dive in because there is so much to share and I want to be able to get through some of the key things at least. So you know, it is the fourth month of the year, which is significant in terms of, um, you know, leadership and grounding the earth. Um, all of those things are foundation. That's all going to be a focus. Um, but it is a one energy month as well. And so this is actually the official start of 2022. Uh, I know we started the year in January, but we're really feeling the beginning of the year energetically now. And so we are feeling this rebirth energy. It just happens to coincide this year with the, um, the new moon in Aries, which we had uh, yesterday or really on the 31st in the evening over here in the Pacific time zone. Um, some, some people experienced it on the 1st. But, you know, we were feeling that energy of it coming into the first because it did happen so late on Thursday. So, you know, we're, um, we're looking at the theme of this month being around uh, coming into higher alignment with our values, with who we are as, as people, and trusting our intuition, trusting our psychic abilities, which have been you know, enormously strengthening um, over the past few months in particular. Um, and 
we are really being called to start trusting what's coming in for us because there's going to be so much information coming in from the outside and we won't be able to tell what's fact or fiction unless we lean into our own knowing. And so it's really gonna be the only way, the only gauge you're going to have to know what is accurate and what is not and, and really trusting yourself in that. So you're gonna get a lot of practice with that this month, a lot, um, because of the high levels of information coming in and the amount of shocking, surprising, um, earth-shattering information that's coming in. You know, there's gonna be a lot of secrets revealed. Why? Because Pluto's going retrograde at the end of the month and because it's one of the outer planets, we're gonna be feeling that um, energetically um, starting to take hold even even now in the beginning of the month but it is going to continue to increase in its um in its energetic pull as we move through the month and pluto is the planet of secrets of um of the uh the underworld and so um it's you know about that um that inner work, um, doing the shadow work, all of that, but also things from the shadows being brought to the surface to be healed. And so that's why there's going to be a lot of big reveals this month between that and the one energy, which is awareness, which is new information um, coming in. It's not actually going to be new, but it's going to be new to a lot of us um, that, you know, these things being revealed or coming in are, are, you know, going to be quite shocking to some people who may not have been tuned into some of this previously. I think for most of us listening to this broadcast, um, it will be mm, not necessarily new information, but maybe new tweaks on that information. Um, that we will be we will be coming aware of more things than we have been in the past or at a deeper level. Um, but having that compassion for the uh, collective, because there most people this is going to be pretty um, pretty big stuff coming in that they they've not previously been aware of, and I remember back to when I was first coming out of the cult, and how. Um, how challenging it was for me to even do the simplest tasks like go to the grocery store or take a shower or anything like that because the information that had been presented to me about the disparity between what I believed to be true and what was actually true was such a huge gap that it was so jarring to my system that it was like, everything I could do just to take care of the basics. And so understand that the collective is going to be going through that more and more, and this month is no exception, and they are going to need our help. And at the same time, we're going to need to continue to help ourselves through this as well. And I know I found it a little more challenging to be of support to others last month because the energy was so challenging to me personally. Trusting that when you're doing your own inner work, that you are um, that you are helping the collective, that you are energetically helping people, and knowing that, trusting that, leaning into that, that even if you reach periods where you're not able to be out there in the forefront leading and all of that, it's okay not to beat yourself up over that. You will need to take periods to um, integrate what is transpiring. But again, I, I don't think it's going to be, well, it is going to be intense, but it's going to be different than March. So I don't want you to feel like March is never going to end. It did, and this is going to be new. It's going to be a new experience, but it is going to have a certain intensity to it. So just to be aware of that, to be compassionate with yourself and others, it's going to be another highly emotional month again. We're starting the month in the collective Venus, which is all about emotions and um, how we feel about things. And then at the full moon of all days, we move into the, our collective Mars, which you know is very aggressive. It can be angry. It can be 
all kinds of, but we'll talk about the full moon in a little bit. But so there's going to be a lot of emotional influence this month again. And so, you know, really leaning into that self-compassion, compassion for others, self-love, self-nurturing, um, taking care of yourself in terms of, um, you know, self-care and taking care of your body is again a big theme for this month because why? This is how we stay out of drama. This is what helps us be in that emotional and, and um, self-mastery that we need in order to successfully navigate these energies. And also understanding that a lot of the intensity that was coming in last month wasn't just about the, um, the numerology energetic influence. That was definitely a huge piece of it. But there's also been a lot of light blasting into the earth, um, into our beings, into our bodies. And um, it was really intense last month, especially towards the end of the month, which is why you may have been feeling super challenged, super irritable, um, maybe unmotivated, maybe, you know, like just different things hitting us, right? That it made it very challenging to move forward and like get anything done. I felt like I was walking through quicksand. And so we are going to continue to get waves of light coming in again this month, uh, big waves. And so when we do, you know, just again, allowing yourself that space to integrate that because the physical body has to integrate that but you're also integrating emotionally and mentally as well and so keeping your focus very spiritual again this month is going to be key it's going to be um, really important to again be conscious of who you're hanging out with and surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded on the spiritual path, on the path of consciousness expansion, of the path of focusing on the shift into 5D. Um, it's it's going to be really important to have that support and to be that support for others, you know, in community. And so, um, you know, we're, we're definitely seeing that as a theme rising up again this month as, as a very strong thing. The other thing we're going to be, you know, feeling is is a strong pull pull to leadership and, you know, showing the way, being the example, uh, leading by example. All of that is going to be key. Um, but again, doing that when you are in alignment and not trying to force yourself to do it when you don't feel aligned. Um, Alignment is really key this month, alignment with our values, alignment with our true self. And, you know, exploring that and gaining new awareness about that is also going to be a, a big focus this month. So we're all in this process and we're being called to lead. Uh, the people who are watching this forecast are definitely being called to lead. So, you know, knowing that going in, um, it, it can be helpful. The collective may experience a lot of fear again, a lot of confusion. Um, you know, when you come out of um, when you come out of uh, cognitive dissonance around you know different belief systems that you've held for a long time, perhaps your whole life in many cases. Um, there can be a lot of fear and confusion and fog, you know, and like just not understanding. Plus, we've got this um, Pluto retrograde coming in that's also going to create some fog and and then the, the solar eclipse. So by mid-month, it's it could be very challenging to see clearly. And even now, um, you know, just coming out of what March was with all that massive transformation energy can kind of leave us in a bit of a fog. So, you know, yesterday and today we're in this airy stellium, we're being pulled to, you know, move forward. And yet if you are one of the people who it might be feeling like, I'm not quite ready yet. Like I'm still trying to figure out what the hell just happened like in March, just be okay with it. It's okay. Don't feel like you're missing a big opportunity and you know whatever if you are um, a little more clear and you feel like you can take advantage of the energy then do um, but if you aren't don't compare yourself with others who might be you know we're all going through this at a different pace and um, comparison will just 
Yeah, it'll just make everything so much harder for you this month than it needs to be. It, it can be um, easy and flowing if you're willing to keep your focus higher and comparison is not part of that game. So, um, so that would be my, my recommendation for you. Um, so, you know, it's also like, there's a lot of, um, of the two energy again this month. So there's a deciding, a decision that needs to be made, believing that anything's possible, believing that you can um, really have a higher connection with source, with your guides, with your higher self, whatever you like to call that thing that's bigger than you, um, and that you can partner with each other to help create all of the things that you want, all of the experiences that you want. And, um, and, and that through that two energy as well, again, that trust in your in your intuitive and psychic abilities, really, really strong again this month. We've got the two, the seven, and double fours coming in with all of this influence of intuition and psychic ability. So really trusting yourself as your source of knowing what's true and what's not, and tuning out a lot of the distractions that are coming in from the outside. Um, Meditation is going to be really key again this month, and also any sort of um, practice that helps you clear your aura field, um, clear the physical cells of your body. We are going to be looking backwards, which is gonna be part of the confusion because we're feeling this pull to go forwards because there's no planets in retrograde right now until the very end of the month. And yet the, um, the energy because of the start of the month being on a Friday is looking backwards. So this is where we're gonna see a lot of mm, stuff coming up from our past, um, stuff coming up that is just wanting to rise to the surface to be seen for our awareness, because awareness is 80% of the game, and that will allow us to transmute it into something that we want, love, um, expansion, higher spiritual awareness, joy, bliss, all of that stuff. And so we are, um, we are going to be seeing things rising to the surface a lot this month with this awareness, right, that's coming in. Um, the the um, energy of the one and the four are both physical numbers. So there's going to be a lot of focus on the physical this month, even though it's a very emotional month. There is going to be a lot of physical focus. So focus on the earth, on our bodies, on our health, on money, on physical resources, all of those things are going to be topics of discussion and top of mind for us this month. Um, and let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, uh, da, 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 da. Basically, yes. Um, yeah. I basically covered the big themes for this month. So what I want to do now is, um, well, I'm going to quick check the comments first. So let's see. Uh, oh, good. You guys are all talking to each other. Oh, hello, Louisa. I haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Doreen. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to experience computer issues, too. I have already been experiencing that. Internet outages already two days in a row here. Um, so yeah, that's also going to be coming up as well. Um, it's because there's so much noise and so much energy going on, it can really mess with electronics. So don't be surprised if that happens this month. Um, even though we won't be feeling the, um, the coming Mercury retrograde in May until the end of the month, we're going to be experiencing that just because of all the energy and also because all of those solar flares and blasts we're getting from the sun, the, the light energy coming in is also messing around with our electronics and our internet connections. So definitely. Wow. We have people from all over the place. So hello, Tana. Yep. Los Angeles. That's where I am too. And uh, yeah, it is off to an amazing start. Good for you, Lori. I'm glad to hear that. Um, ah, good. Awesome. So glad you're finding a place that you love. 
Helen, your birthday is the 14th this month. Okay, well, the 14th is going to be a, a, a significant day that we're going to talk about. So um, we'll be covering your birthday, actually. My birthday is coming up on the 5th, too. So if you've got an April birthday, let me know in the comments. Um, so let's see here. So some significant events this month. Obviously, I've kind of mentioned the full moon is going to be very significant. We just started the month on a new moon, but we have a second new moon that caps out our month on the 30th. So it's um, we don't normally have two new moons in one month, and so this is a, a special new moon. It's also a solar eclipse, so it is going to be quite significant in events. Um, this weekend, we are um, feeling that um, Aries stellium. We're feeling that pull to move forward. Um, and like I said, if you are um, if you are clear on where you're going, then you know definitely taking some actions moving forward is advisable this weekend. Um, if you are not clear, then the actions would be to get clear, get clear on what your um, what your priorities are in terms of what's important to you and why. You know, go back to your big why. If you um, have taken the brain game with me or anyone else. You know, going back to that exercise where you, you know, look at your why and see if that's changed. See if or see if you are still in alignment with the one that you came up with previously. Um, if you haven't done the brain game, then, you know, really try and just journal about, you know, why you have the big vision that you do. Why is it important to you and getting di diving deeper into that so that you have clarity of focus and you can also call in clarity if you're not feeling it at the moment um, and if you are again please feel free to move forward and do some stuff and like i said wherever you're at don't play the comparison game you're exactly where you need to be because you don't know unless you know numerology where you are in your personal seasonal cycle either in your personal divine timing so you might be experiencing exactly what you're meant to experience in this moment so just trust that trust that whatever you're experiencing is is right and again intuiting and trusting those messages that are coming through so the first full week of april begins on monday the fourth and ends on sunday the tenth monday the fourth is a very significant day it's the four four power day it's an incredible day to um to call on your angelic realm to for assistance in anything you want um, to clear energy from your field that might be weighing you down slowing your progress um, if you you know have repeating patterns that keep coming up for you and you want help clearing them whatever you're working on that you would like help with if it's you know help with um with with actually receiving the abundance that you want to experience through whatever you're putting out there right now whatever it is or creating more impact whatever call on the angelic realm for assistance this is a beautiful day and the whole week because this is going to be the energy theme for the week you know calling in on that um that angelic realm but for this particular group there is something about clearing your energy field um, that is important with this um, with this help you're asking that, you, that you're calling in and um, and allowing yourself to um, to be reoriented after this period of intense light coming in at the end of March so you know even if you feel comfortable moving forward with some stuff there is some other things I feel like that are coming up that need to be uh, cleared or rebalanced, you know, going on um, things that need to be uh, cleared from your energy field, and also remembering that there's a lot going on around you in the collective. And so, if you are possibly picking up and taking on any of that stuff, just making sure that you're practicing every day, you know, consciously clearing your energy field, not about protection just about, um, you know, it's like showering every day, right? You wanna clean your energy out as well. So, you know, just making a, a habit of doing that, and this is a, a, a great time to start that habit, is on, on Monday, you can start it now, but Monday, really asking for that help to make that part of your everyday rituals, just like taking a shower and brushing your teeth is, right? Because there's so much coming in, and, you know, just, 
Um, and so much rising up as well, like I was talking about. There will be a lot rising up to be cleared. And so it's just, you know, constantly, I, I, this is what I see right now. It's just picking and grabbing the stuff and just throwing it out, you know, just throwing it out and it's getting transmuted by, by the universe. And so transmuted into love, transmuted into higher consciousness, all of that, right? So it's really just that, that clearing that needs to happen. And, and you can actually do this if this resonates with you, you know, to do something physical, a physical movement of clearing because it's such a physical month, right? So, you know, trust yourself what you're being led to do, working with the violet flame, if that's something that resonates with you. Um, but there's, there's something that, you know, this, there's, this is important for for the people listening to this so um so really uh being conscious of that and on that day as well we are really being called this setting the tone of the week you know to really dive into what do you love to do what brings you joy what brings you happiness what brings you fulfillment what brings you the sense of freedom and fun that life is meant to be the satisfaction the uh, purpose creative and intuitive expression all of these things right and and trusting intuitively all the messages that are coming into you if you're feeling pulled to do something but your to-do list says something else go with what you're feeling intuitively pulled to do don't worry about that to-do list. This is really um, the time to start mastering this if you haven't already or master this at a deeper level because we are really being called to um, to lead by example by showing people you can and you can actually thrive, not just survive, and you do that by leaning into your intuitive nudges and following them and following them to your bliss. And so, you know, this is where we're, we're, we're being practicing to do this. And this power day is calling us into that for that start of the week. Um, some other significant days this week is uh, the 7th, which is Thursday. I believe there will be a lot of secrets revealed that day. There's a momentum of secrets being revealed. So that can be personal and it can also be in the collective. This can rise up some pretty um, significant emotional energy. So be conscious of that when you're out and about and interacting with people. And if you support people as a coach, you know, this would be something that you want to be aware of uh, this particular day, all month, of course, but this day, I think there's going to be some significant stuff coming out. Um, and then on the 9th, on Saturday, is a 369 day. So that is a day of um, extreme manifestation ability, very fast manifestations. Um, there can be transformation awareness. We've got the one energy coming in with the queen of diamonds. And I feel like that is going to be very significant in terms of, um, new awarenesses coming in around, um, greed and selfishness and, um, you know, this me, me, me stuff that's been going on in our collective for so long and how that is negatively impacting us as a species, as a planet, um, the environment, everything, right? This is going to be about um, a, an awakening around the need and the desire to nurture the physical world and raise our values with what we're deeming as important. And in terms of our um, money versus environment, money versus physical health, um, money versus uh, resources, um, you know, where, we're, where our values are out of sync. And this is really going to be a, a big day to see that. Um, big awakenings this day are possible. And, you know, a shift into that nurturing and generosity of spirit and the, the healing that can come forth through that. So um, I do believe that will be a, a day where, where that could be significant, where there could be significant awakenings around that. So um, again, you know, supporting our, our environment, our people around us, um, people through social media and, um, you know, un, in that understanding, because some of the awarenesses that might come up could be rather jarring and, 
And, and there is a tendency f to, towards that selfishness on, um, there can be a tendency towards that, it, an extreme of either very selfish or very generous on a Queen of Diamonds day, but especially with that one energy coming in. So I think, you know, we're going to see like, who's, <laughs> you're going to see very clearly who's having the awakenings and who's still stuck in the old energy and uh, resisting, right? And um, and either way, it could be um, it could be a challenging day for some. So you know, being able to be of support through that, and and sharing your own generosity of spirit and your own resources with others, um, if you're able. So that following week um, is from 4:11 to 4:17. Um, it's another significant week in terms of transformation energy coming in. There's um, there's a um, a three six nine energy coming in again on the twelfth, and um, I see that as um, uh, you know a shakeup to our feelings of safety and security in our physical world, and you know having to do with money, health what's going on with the earth, um, helping us to shift our perspective on what that actually means or what that actually looks like to feel safe and secure and where that comes from. And, you know, again, looking at that not coming from outside of us, but that coming from within us, you know, all month I see us as going deeper with our understanding that when we heal our self from the inside out, that that projects out and heals the collective, it heals the human race, it heals the earth, it heals the um, animals, you know, all the, the planet, everything. And to really understand that power, we had that discussion last month um, to some extent in the end in the Q&A and um, really understanding just how powerful we are as leaders by just doing our own inner work and allowing that to um, expand out from us energetically is the way to heal everything, the way to bring more love to everything, the way to create massive change. And so this is a day, again, where I think it, it will be significant energetically for that. And, um, you know, for a lot of people, again, who aren't um, as far along on the path as we are, they may need some support around this because there could be um, some real feelings of fear coming up around, you know, not feeling secure about the financial markets, about what's happening with the earth. There's this whole theme too around the earth and, um, and the weather and the uh, global warming, this whole theme coming up around um, awareness that there's, there's two sets of forces that have been trying to control or manipulate what has been happening with the earth, which is really being caused by the pole shifts and the tampering that's going on with one of those sets of groups. Um, but the other set of group is trying to offset the pole shift and the tampering, and they do actually have good intention but it's like even that we're seeing is not working because the earth is going to be showing us this month in particular that you know we're not in control of this and you know the four can be really controlling um energy in its low side and you know we're being shown now this awareness is coming up about where we've been trying to control the earth and nature and how that is really not possible and it is blowing up in our face and it is backfiring and there's going to be this awareness around that and so this could be a day where um where there's more awareness around this and this could be unsettling for a lot of people um but we are fine we are safe all is well and you know we, we are being called to lead everyone else in that knowingness and that we have the power not within our outside scientific manipulations of things and all of that, but within ourselves to raise the consciousness as Earth is raising her own consciousness and is actually a little ahead of us in the process of going into that 5D uh, consciousness. 
and helping us to raise our consciousness as, as a human race. And so, um, you know, trusting that process, trusting the earth knows how to heal herself just as our bodies and we know how to heal ourselves. And so there's no control or manipulation needed in order to create safety. We are safe. We, the safety is in love, it is in doing the inner work. And so that's, um, that's a big theme coming up this month as well, and particularly on that day. And then on the 14th on Helen's birthday, we, it is a significant day in which we are going to really be feeling this pull higher to take things higher, to raise our values, uh, both on an internal level personally, but also as a collective as well. And bringing more peace and harmony and balance into our lives through doing that, through really um, exploring what is really important to us and and putting those things first and and um, and also again this is intuition this is um, trusting in ourselves valuing ourselves and what's coming in for us as more important for our interpretation and perception of what's going on than taking other people's opinions as fact and so um, really trusting your own discernment um, so then we go into the weekend with the full moon and the full moon in Libra in 26 degrees is the eight, which is momentum. It's also happening on a, an eight energy day and, um, and a five of diamonds day. So what does all that mean? Um, and we're starting the collective Mars and um, we are also, let me just get back up to my um, notes on the full moon. We're also um, kicking off the pre-shadow period to the eclipse coming up at the end of the month. And so, you know, this is really, um, there's a lot around this full moon. There's a lot of energy around this full moon. It's got a lot more kick than even normal. And normally full moons have quite a bit of energy around them, but this really does. It really has some longevity to it. We will be feeling it well into the next week. And um, and it is going to be a highly emotional day. Uh, fortunately, it is Saturday. There won't be as many people on the road, hopefully, with you know commuting and all of that. But um, but it is going to be a highly emotional day. Anger could erupt um, unexpectedly, and so just being mindful of your own emotional mastery, and then being there to be compassionate and supportive and witness and hold space for those who are going through that, um, bringing more love into the world, a momentum of love, um, will uh, assist this day with your own um, navigation of it as well as helping the, the collective navigate it as well. And, um, you know, there is a potential for a momentum of massive change in our physical world. There will be massive change, but there's a potential to harness that energy and create some massive change and take some big actions that day that can help you bring in some of the changes that you want to experience in your own physical experience. And, you know, changes in your finances, changes in your um, home, uh, whether it's, you know, redecorating or, um, or moving, something like that, those could be uh, big changes that come in. Changes in your relationships could be possible. Um, also, and, you know, but I see this a lot more in uh, the physical experience. So, you know, the things that we can touch. Um, well, we can touch people too. So it could be, but I really feel like this is going to be like money or health based more than um, more than relationships. But because there's so much emotional component to it, your relationships will be affected. So be super conscious of how you carry yourself through this day and harness that, that momentum energy for um, for a positive purpose. There's going to be a lot of creative energy this day. So, and and again, the days following because it is going to be so powerful and have some longevity to it. So you're going to want to make sure you're channeling that energy into creating what you want. So literally just create like a mofo, whatever, you know, like, you know, I don't care if it's spreadsheets or paintings or singing and dancing or what whatever you do to create but just create focus on creating 
and um, channeling that energy into it. Um, there's uh, going to be a lot of sexual energy. So, you know, if you are in a, um, in a uh, committed relationship and you're looking to create a child, this could be a good day for that as well. The, the creative energy, the force there is really intense. So, um, so there is that possibility. And so just, um, you know, being aware of that uh, available to you and taking advantage of that. Let me just take a look at um, the comments here. So, uh, let's see here. Keep clearing patterns that pop up now and then. Love and light. Get this rental on. Yeah, I love that. You're changing your calendar on the wall to April. Well, that'd be good. Yeah, it helps to get on the right page. That gives you some focus and clarity right there, Rosalie. I love that. Okay, so you guys still with me? Because this is a lot, and I know this is a lot. It's it's just, um, there's a lot going on this month. I'm, I'm trying to give you the focus that I channeled in and brought in for you guys specifically. So you may hear other forecasts with some other information that can also be applicable to the collective, but this is just for you. So um, just want to make sure that you guys understand that. Ah, hydration also very important. With all of this light coming in, you may notice your bodies have been um, not, uh, like even though you're doing your normal routine of what you're drinking and you know taking in in terms of hydration, you may notice you, you're still dehydrated. So you know, steam your food instead of baking it, um, eat more raw, which is great if you're you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere because we're coming into spring and we're starting to get all of the fresh fruits and vegetables coming in. Drink lots of lemon water, celery juice, cucumber juice, uh, coconut water, whatever you have that you love that hydrates you well, you, you will know for your body. But, um, you know, lay off the caffeine, lay off fat. Um, you can have some, but, you know, just curb it because all those kinds of things dehydrate the body. So um, really, uh, lots of apples actually are super hydrating. So um, if you like apples, apples are good. Um, but, you know, there's lots of ways to hydrate the body. Just be focused on that because with all of this light energy coming in, it will help you integrate it and um, and move a lot of this energy of the month through you instead of getting have, having to get stuck and so um, you know hydration is going to be really key also moving your body again is a theme this month if you feel like you're getting stuck in any way or that you're um, feeling the anxiety or overwhelm of the energy um, move your body and um, and that will help move some of this energy out whatever your favorite type of movement is you know if you like to go for a walk um, if you like to uh, you know do um, cardio exercise if you like yoga if you like to dance whatever you like but just some sort of body movement even stretching can help so you know, just moving your body is going to help move the energy literally through it. And um, dry brushing is another great thing if you guys do that before you shower. That helps move things through your body. Um, and then, of course, you know, putting your feet on the earth can really help you um, balance out that energy and, and move some of that through you and, and, and create more um, groundedness in your body. So um, all of those things will help you physically move through this. And especially like, you know, when we're talking about this uh, full moon and the eclipse and all of that, there's just tons and tons of energy we're talking about coming in. And so... Um, you know, you can feel very restless, uh, especially at that full moon again, because there's that five of diamonds, you can feel physically restless. So, you know, move your body or, or, you know, take a trip, travel, do that. But if you do be careful because people are going to be a little crazy. So, um, you know, they may be more aggressive the way they drive and things like that. So, and you may be too. So just keep that in mind and, um, and take it slower, which I'm glad that came up because, um, you know, 
as this energy keeps speeding up and speeding up and speeding up, which it is continually doing, and we're feeling that again this month, we're feeling the speed up of the energies again, like we didn't think it could move any faster, and it is. And you know, as that's happening, because we are collapsing this concept of time and space, and that's why we're experiencing this, this quickening in this way, we actually need to slow down to be able to acclimate to the high speed of the energy moving. It's like counterintuitive in a way, but it actually is what works. Um, so if you're trying to keep up with the pace and the pace keeps moving faster, you're gonna burn yourself out if you haven't already. So you need to slow down in order to move faster. And um, and it's something that we're, we're practicing and learning how to do, and this is a, this is this whole idea of taking intuitive action instead of working off that to-do list it's about slowing down because you're just doing what's next what's really right in front of you the next step instead of doing it the old way which was i have this massive to-do list and i'm just going to plow through it and push through it doesn't work that way anymore and if you're still after last month trying to do it that way good luck to you because you're just going to burn yourself out if you didn't already, like I said. So as this energy keeps moving faster and faster, we have to slow down. And that's what we're being called into. And that's why I say we're birthing a new you this month because we're really, we have to learn to master this. Stop resisting if you're resisting. It is required it's required for your survival and your thrival now in order to um, be able to move through things. And um, anyway, so that's that's important. So going into the, the well, that whole full moon weekend is going to be very emotional. Um, and it's also going to be um, really powerful, really powerful for creating change and all of that. Um, and trying to find where I am in my notes here. Um, and okay, so this is, this is again the theme for that whole week is balancing things out, working with a balance of feminine and masculine energies. Like I was saying with the slowing down, this whole week we're being, we're being called to slow down and, um, and work with more balance. So intuiting when we need to speed up and when we need to slow down, when we need to be more in that masculine and kind of like focus and go, that kind of Mars energy, or when we need to be in that more Venus flowing, slower feminine energy. Doesn't mean that the feminine is less powerful, it just goes about it differently. And so, you know, bringing that balance into our lives and noticing where we might be out of balance, where we might still be trying to push through, or where we might be too laid back about stuff and need to take a little more action, depending on who you are and where you're at in things. Um, that could be rising up for you this week to take a look at, and you know, especially with this full moon. Um, so the other thing, okay, the other part of this full moon that I wanted to mention is that the Piscean stellium begins also on that full moon. So it's really, I cannot stress enough how emotional it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of stuff rising up. So fortunately, we have the weekend to, um, to process anything that's coming up. It will continue into the next week, but I, you know, it, it slowly dissipates as time moves forward. So the most intensity is going to be felt on Saturday and Sunday. And then moving into Monday, into the next week of the 18th through the 24th, we're going to see that, you know, again, this focus on, um, on the physical, on the earth, on, um, on healing ourselves and healing our, um, our shadow sides, that all of this is starting to come up because um, we're getting triggered by all of these emotional things rising up by this full moon. And so noticing that the triggers are gifts. They're gifts to be navigated and collapsed so that we can 
there's when you get triggered it's rising up to show you what no longer matches where you're headed you've been through such a massive transformation process and continuing to go through these mini transformations all month of april and you're going to get triggered by things because there are things that just don't match your reality anymore and you're getting triggered by them to see oh okay this doesn't this isn't resonant anymore this this needs to be cleared it could be old ideas and belief systems it could be things in your physical world you may need to clear some things out you may need to um, you know make some changes to relationships or the way you do things or your belief systems or your spiritual practices or whatever there could be a lot of stuff changing all month and um, and again you know you're as you keep going through these transformation processes you're going to keep getting triggered to show you where you need to let go of things where you need to shift things and the triggers are gifts because they're allowing you to see them clear them and move forward very quickly we're again finding the transformations just like last month moving very quickly last month was really intense because we had that three six nine energy pretty much every day whereas this month there are specific days and there aren't as many of them as there was last month so there's a lot of intense energy this month but again this is why it's a little different flavor but starting out this third week on the 18th we do start on a 369 energy and so because we're doing that that's going to set a theme for the week of that energy and so this will be a week of transformation, of awakenings, massive insights, awareness are amplified because of this being the tone for the week, right? And um, many people could be experiencing deeper awakenings, especially on that 18th, right? On that Monday. And um, we're being called to sovereignty through raising of our values and conscious awareness and being willing to be grateful for the triggers and really see them as gifts and don't try and ignore them navigate them you know let them rise up see them for what they are um, you know if you are a brain game student then you know how to collapse a trigger use the instant freedom technique um, use the techniques for collapsing triggers with the forgiveness you know and all of that do those exercises and it will help you move through this like a champ it will really uh it will really assist you in this and you can move through it very quickly and as you get more practiced at it sometimes you don't even have to do it in writing if a big trigger comes up though i highly recommend doing the writing i still do that when a big trigger comes up um, because those can run a lot deeper and the writing can really help you get the clarity to move that out and collapse it so um, that would be my suggestion but this is how again we heal humanity and we heal the earth by doing our inner work and transmuting our own darkness into compassion into love into joy and bliss we do that by collapsing the triggers and we need to be willing to see them and be grateful for them so that we can do that work and collapse them and embrace the triggers shift them into synchronicities you can do this and so on the 21st we're going to have the taurian stellium beginning it begins on a king of clubs and four energy day so taurus can be really stubborn we know the bull right and that four energy can also be really stubborn and there is a element of stubbornness this whole month that can come in if we're not aware of it so being super conscious on this day particularly but all month in general of where you might be trying to control or trying to be stubborn and holding on to things and um in and, and in this particular day this is mental thinking this is mental ideas or ways of communicating um that want that want to be seen and and be shifted and you know noticing where you might might be holding on to things what are you really trying to hold on to and why you know usually it's fear-based and so what if you let go of that fear and trusted the universe to be your partner for real you know and and really stepped into leadership sovereignty we are being called into that on this day and of course like i said all month but this particular day is calling us higher into that and will we answer the call but we have to be willing to look at our own mental and emotional mastery in order to 
be in that space to model that for others. So that's what we're kind of looking at this week and, you know, a transformation of that. Um, and then we go into the weekend. The weekend is really cool. It's, and, and even, even on the 21st too, really the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, all those days, super highly intuitive, psychic, um, dream states can be really powerful, extremely creative energies, um, channel, channel it into creating what you want. You know, whether you're a writer or, um, or you, you know, like I said, create spreadsheets, whatever you do, channel this energy into creating what you want. Pay attention to your dream states. Keep a notebook um, handy near your bed or on your bed so that you can write down dreams um, when you wake up and, um, you know, take a look at them. You try and figure out what they mean or meditate on them, whatever. Um, it's a great time to meditate. There, there's some really powerful energies available here to take advantage of in terms of um, creativity and, um, and really connecting with the ethereal realms in a deep way that can be really transformative. And so taking advantage of that, we're really being called higher into um, that, um, that crown line of the chart. And so, um, you know, uh, stepping up into um, allowing the transformations to occur and, and um, doing our part in assisting that to happen by being willing to see what's rising up. It's really, really key. And you're going to get a lot of help from the ethereal realms again in those last uh, four days of the week. So um, that can be really fun. I'm actually lo really looking forward to that. Then we go into the final week of the month, which is the 25th through May 1st, um, where our, our mo we have a few significant things occurring. We have the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde beginning on the 26th. So starting on that Tuesday, you want to start noting the themes. I would journal on them, keep a journal of the themes of what are rising up for you between the 26th and the start of Mercury retrograde that happens next month in May that we'll talk about in our next forecast. Um, <clears throat> and then Pluto retrograde officially begins in Capricorn on the 29th, which is that Friday. And that is about the shadow work secrets being revealed, especially around money and environment and earth. You know, this is going to be a lot about like in the collective, we're going to see a lot about corporate greed, government greed, um, things around war and, um, and, you know, environment again being big themes, um, all of that kind of stuff coming up um, and, and uh, weather manipulation and, and things like that. So um, a food supply, all of that kind of stuff, uh, I think will be big themes. But it's going to, like I said, permeate the whole month and it'll just be getting more and more to the forefront as the month progresses. Um, and then, you know, there, then on the 30th, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Taurus at 10 degrees. And so, you know, this is going to be about, um, about newness coming in, but there's going to be fog because it's an eclipse. So we don't get clarity around what's happening or why until weeks after, um, the eclipse happens. And because we're going to be in a, in a, a window of eclipses, and going into Mercury retrograde and starting Pluto retrograde, things are gonna be very unclear. And so again, this is why all month, and especially during this, this end of the month and going into May, it's so important for us to trust our intuition and trust our, um, our, our, our inner discernment, our inner knowing, really checking in, bringing head to heart, and practicing with that because that's the only place you're going to know what to do next. Like really can't stress that enough. It's going to be really challenging to navigate um, forward and you're going to feel pulled forward because of that, um, that Taurus new moon. It's wanting to take us forward with this um, 10 degrees. It's all about the new. It's about um, new information. There's going to be more reveals again because of that. Again, because it's Taurus about the themes that I outlined um, already, and um, and and about leadership, you know, and and that the people who we have 
allowed to lead us really have no clue what they're doing and we know that in this group already for the most part I would say but um, there's a lot of people in the collective that don't know that so again assisting with the confusion you can't clear the confusion for them it's a process that they have to go through it's an integration process but you can be loving you can be supportive you can be compassionate you can let them know they're not alone let them know what they're experiencing is normal and um, and expected and for yourself knowing that you can move forward and feeling comfortable in moving forward into the unknown because you will not see the path clearly um, but you will know the path is calling you forward and so you know all you need is that one next step and then that one next step and that one next step brain game it you know that's the stairway to freedom right so this is this is how we know how to move forward with all of this fog going on and we just trust that if we just do the next step that we're being given that we're moving in the right direction and know too you can never go off path you're always on path you may end up taking detours if you're not listening to your intuition but you're still on path you're just taking a detour so you can never really go off path there's nothing to fear um, and you can stay more on a direct path if you are willing to do that following your intuition following your heart uh, bringing head to heart and allowing them to work together and um, it's not an easy practice it's not the way that we're used to functioning but it is the way that we're being mm, called to learn going forward more and more and more as our um, as our go-to way of doing things because if we do that's going to enable us to really embrace that fifth dimensional uh, frequency that we're entering more and more into um, and if we keep trying to do things the old way we are going to burn ourselves out and exhaust ourselves and not get the results that we want so it, it will feel very uncomfortable like I started this conversation the whole purpose of this month is about alignment and so when you're not aligning head and heart you're going to feel it you'll feel it physically in your body you'll you'll experience it in your um, external physical world surrounding you being mirrored back to you you'll be experiencing that misalignment and so really coming into that alignment as we've moved into at the full moon into our Mars season uh, we have 52 days of that Mars season of really taking responsibility that's self responsibility that's aligning our um, emotions and thoughts before we take action and so um, you know and interrupting triggers and collapsing triggers taking responsibility for our part in things taking responsibility for where we're headed and um, and choosing to take steps forward into more alignment with that and we may not know how to do that quite yet but just being willing to um, to listen for the next step is all we need to do it's all we need to do and and knowing and trusting that we are conscious creators that we are creating our own reality and um, and and that we have that power within us to do that we are not at the whim of the outside world it's so important to understand because the outside world is going to be so freaking noisy like I can't explain this anymore um, then what I'm saying you'll you will experience it you'll see what I mean and um, and, and it's just um, really important for us to keep our focus spiritual and in trust of who we are and our own selves first so um, thank you guys for being here I'm gonna check the comments right now see if you guys have any comments or questions or anything if you do have questions coming up pop them in and um, we'll see if I can answer them and then we're gonna wrap up here so let's see yeah good lots of good stuff happening for you Lori I love it um, Louisa yeah yeah well Louisa yeah you can create more positivity in your life and let's 
talk about the brain game actually I feel like that's popping up for you right now and I you know I did mention it in the forecast it would be so helpful for you to bring more positivity in and let's see yeah oh good well yeah lots of lots of information there good morning Kelly good to see you so um, I don't see any other comments coming up in the um, in the comments here if you do have questions you can leave them in the comments you're welcome Helen it was so good to be here with you guys today and you know trust yourselves this is the the, the big theme of the month is to trust yourself and um, you know, moving more and more into that and, and being okay with the unknown, being okay with leaving your comfort zone without having all of the full plans laid out in front of you because we're just not going to have that this month and we're not going to have it next month either. So um, just really being okay with that and moving into that unknown and trusting and loving the journey of it despite any challenges that might come up and you know really just um trying to enjoy the journey and knowing that that everything that's happening right now is for our highest good and that is really um that is really what we're going to be needing to embrace at that uh, final new moon of of April so um, everything is unfolding for our best and highest good it really is and just trusting that so uh, let's see what else is coming up in the comments yeah you felt the shift coming into this month yeah I it is a very different energy it's a different energy so um, but definitely one that is going to be interesting to navigate so yeah actually i i did have that earthquake uh visual when i was doing this forecast and i forgot to mention that but there are you know all these like three six nine days that i mentioned and these you know um important days to note it is going to be like we had this big um, 7.8 earthquake in March, right? Like that was the big one. And then now we're getting all these aftershocks and those are like those 369 and the significant dates that I mentioned. <laughs> those are like the aftershocks. So they're not as big, but they're pretty, pretty important and they'll feel um, intense because we're still recovering from the big one. So. I think um, that's a great way, especially being here in Los Angeles, to uh, good analysis for it. So, or analogy. Um, yes, you're welcome, Rosalie. So, um, I my intention is to be with you guys more this month. I was navigating my own stuff last month, and I did a lot behind the scenes, but not so much in our group. So, my intention is to be more visible in the group this month, and. Be of more support to you here and I believe I will be doing uh, an announcement about Saturdays um, which uh, I'm gonna bring in a, a thing I'm calling sage Saturdays and we will be getting together on Saturdays if you want um, and I'm not sure quite what I'm bringing in yet for that but uh, there's going to be something coming in on Saturdays at noon every every week this month so um, that I know is coming in and I will have more information on that in a few days and I'm looking forward to spending more time with you guys this month in this space so yeah March was like an earthquake volcano and tornado all wrapped into one yeah yeah I would definitely have to agree with that so <laughs> All right. Well, keep your keep your focus up there and uh, you guys will do fine. Love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.